Let's have a look on this bonus task. Actually, the mathematics behind it is more complex than the program. So what we do we have to do? First, we have three variables a, b and c, which we have to get through an input. Then we have to calculate the discriminant. You can see the formula in here. So based on the values we got for b, a and c, we can simply calculate the discriminant. And finally, we have to check the value of the discriminant. And based on the value, we can then give a feedback yeah, if it is bigger than, if the discriminant is bigger, bigger than zero, smaller than zero, or equal to zero. So let's go for it. First, we have to get through input these variables equal to input, yeah, enter the variable a and as input always gives back a string as a data type we have to convert it into for example inter integer or float this we have to do for all the three variables now we have this input and i propose to first check if everything is working fine by simply for example trying out this equation print a plus b plus c i let it run yeah, two, three, four, and you see the value is nine, so everything works fine. Now I have to calculate this discriminant. So I take a new vari variable, disk equal to, and now we look at formula. This is b by the power of two minus four times a times c. As we can simply type in b by the power of two minus four times a times c. You have to take care if some uh, parentheses are required. This is not the case in here. And now we can check the um, value of the discriminant. Yeah? So if disk is equal to zero, then what kind of solution we do have. The discriminant has exactly one real solution. Yeah. So we maybe copy and paste this in here. Then we say print has one so solution, one real solution. If or elif yeah, disk is greater than zero print yeah let's check the situation if it's greater than zero then we have two real solutions you can see it in here so I'll copy this one copy mm, and put it in here and finally if disk is not equal nor bigger than zero then it must be smaller than zero so we can use it with the else case and say okay has two quadratic oh, sorry two complex solutions so now we can try with the values on top four two four two minus two yeah. we can let it run sorry, 4, 2, minus 2 leads to two real solution. That's exactly what we have in here. Then we let go for 1, 2, 3. Yeah. So again, we let it run. 1, 2, 3. We have our two complex solutions. And finally, we check 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. Yeah, and has one real solution. So it seems to work fine.